Hey guys, what's going on? Only my name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. How are we all on this fine day? I'm feeling pretty good today. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm feeling like energized and ready to go, and it doesn't happen too often. <laughs> so I'm making the most of it. Uh, stone. So just take a little car park really on the side here. Use up this space. I think I'm going to put a little line in this part. So just drop it in here. I don't like quite where the lines are. It sort of has this little weird, uh, like, spot at the end. I think if we... I think if I extend this out onto here... I think that just looks neater. And I might even have a line going across the back. So today, I want to do the interior to both the chip... What does that look? Yeah, that looks okay, doesn't it? Hey, just on the side there, uh, you know, little spots for the Chinese. But I also, I think we were saying at the end of last episode that we could use this space behind here as a little car park as well. I think, one, two, three, four, five, I could, I could drop all of this out. Well, in fact, I could probably make it one, two, three, four. I think I could... And have the road there. And then that way we keep that little path going up there. I think that would be smarter. Uh, set stone. And then if we put in two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, one, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make that a little bit longer. No, in fact, I'll drop that back. We'll put that there. That makes it nice and nice and neat. I think I can get one more in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's all the space that we've got. So we might as well get that path part to line up with this. Like that. And what about this little part here? I think it's going to be probably best just to fill it in with the slab, right? Uh, 44.6. Replace air with 44.6. Ta-da! I don't mind this space being a little bit empty or wasted. Um, I could probably, in fact, this is going to be, we've decided what this is going to be, by the way, very quickly. It's going to be a homeless camp. It's going to be here. So I could extend the homeless camp down here with some like fires underneath there, like little barrel fires or something like that. Some little beds. I think that's what I want out of this anyway. Um, th that's sort of what I'm, I'm tending to sort of head towards. But yeah, I like this now. Let's uh, have that like so. Uh, I should really put a stop sign, but the stop sign would have to go on that side and that would be right in the way of the house. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Anyway, let's do the interiors here what I want to do today. So, if I put a slab down as a ceiling slash floor in here, uh, I think I want to go with like a wooden feel because that way it'll work for the upstairs as well. So I've got these beautiful high windows on this living quarters part. That's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be the shop downstairs. And then if I could fit, if I could fit like a staircase in like up here that would be great um let's try and get that if we knock these out yeah stairs i think we can go with white stairs oh it works oh um, look. there we go we can get upstairs here we might as well put in i'm going to ignore that one this this like the the attic floor i'm not going to bother with like a, another uh floor there there's no point. It's not even that big. It hasn't got the headroom that you'd need to do an interior with. Okay, perfect. So we can now lay out some stuff. For a floor in a Chinese, I think we want a checkered pattern. Um, even grey wool and white wool could work. I think. So it's not the full uh, black and white that... I sort of usually do in like kitchens, but it's a similar, it's I think a, a more modern-y feel, which is, is good. 
Can we put these down here? Oops, down there. And I think the wool texture, see how it has like little lines going up it? I think it gives it a bit more of a worn feel where people sort of walk in and stuff like that. It's always busy places. Yeah, that looks neat. Lighting. Let's go with uh, glowstone. It's nice and redstone texture on it. What's that called? Oh, a glock. Glow, glock. Gotcha. Um, so let's have... Ah, that's okay. I could probably use carpets, I hope, to cover this top half up. And that way it doubles up as actually doing the lighting for this floor as well. Okay, counter. I want a counter down the middle here, I think. Uh, I might put some quartz in like this. Um, I think I'll do that and again put a carpet on top. And I think if we get a door, uh, and I do it like that, just has like a, a little cubby hole there. Okay, uh, for the counter, again, I think I'm going to use quartz, but I think I want to have more of a pattern on here. I'm going to go with the pillared ones, like so. We'll leave that open at the end. And we'll put a trap door in there. Boom, boom, or beautiful, one or the other. <laughs> Glass. Um, do I have anything smaller? I don't know if I've got anything smaller. I wonder if this would just look better. I've never used any of this glass. This is modded glass. It doesn't have like connected texture. But I'm thinking for like where they put the, the sausages and, and the fish and stuff like that. It doesn't look bad. What does it look like with just normal glass? Or even white stained glass. I think white stained glass would be better. Normal glass, I really need to change the texture of. Oh, you know what? White stained glass doesn't all look that bad. It's really weird how when you look at a pane through a block, it goes invisible. See how... Boop. And then that's that's invisible and... Oop, boom. Really quite strange. Uh, carpet. White carpet on top. Going for white because obviously it's a very clean colour. It looks very... Uh, um sterile is the word we'll have a i think i'll try and use that one as the till like that ping uh yeah sausage is in there and this is where you serve so we need some furnaces furnace you know what i might do is i might actually flip this staircase to go the other way because i don't really have too much space to put furnaces otherwise i could put them underneath the stairs I could take that out. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Um, stair. Ah. I could do it like that. Hey, that looks quite cool. I, I sort of like that. We'll have a painting behind it, just so it doesn't look like a, a little brick background there. Yeah, nice little sort of splash backboard. We'll need a cauldron. If I could spell again. For a little sink. Yeah, man, it would be so much easier if that staircase was around the other way. I'm going to have to put the staircase the other way. We're going to do it like that. And that way, I've got basically this room instead. Uh, we'll, we'll fill in the staircase, I think, afterwards. Uh, quartz. I'll have the block here. and I'll just put that one in like that. Okay, that's better. I did like the idea, though, of having the furnaces under here i think i'm going to do it like that i'm going to move it over a block so that way my cauldron my sink can go here and then it's not in the way of anything um i think i want a different block because the quartz is going to go here by this oops by the stairs right like that and i keep getting rid of the blocks i need I can't do that anymore because it's, it's over there. Um, trap door. It's a weird one, but I might put a trap door like this. I think that does the same job. Do you know what I mean? It looks like a little extractor fan up there. And even the, the even the black and yellow look like uh, hot to me. Like, like, like you know, warning, it's, it, it's hot. However, I don't think I can put a painting down now. No, it sort of goes in the way. I think I like that, though. Yeah, I don't think I mind that. Um we'll have for a countertop 
maybe light grey. Just just for a little countertop behind here. We'll stick with the white tops on it though. We shall get an item frame. And snow or carpet. It doesn't really matter. Uh, like that. Nice and sort of neat. Stick some water in the sink. I think... That's probably all we're going to be able to get behind here. It does the job that we need. I think it, it's nice and simple, but it works. Uh, a little bench going down here so you can uh, sit and wait. I th think I'm going to use a couch block for this. Now, what color? Do we go with the red? You've got that red down the exterior, haven't we? Up there. So I think the red couch would work. It goes well with the, um, with the, with the brick as well. And then maybe in the corner... We'll have one of them, one of them, them. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a fence and leaf combination. No. No, go with the two leaves. Table on the side. You don't need to use modern blocks, by the way, for this. You could very easily use a fence with a carpet for the table. Uh, use stairs for the sofa and then the plant is still the same if you didn't want to use any modded blocks I mean it, it would work absolutely fine uh, let's get a nice double one above there you know what that looks okay for an interior of a chip shop I think have a little painting there just make it a little bit more homely and then up ah. Ah. <laughs> it's okay I think No, you know what? We, we could make a cool feature of this. We could make a cool feature of this. And then that goes... No. There. And then... That doesn't really matter what it... Well, no, it should be... I think a full block of that. Nope. That's going to have to be that. That is anno so annoying looking. It's like right in the middle of nowhere. Um, maybe, oops. If we extend that out like that as well then. Hey, that works. That sort of hides up. It's sticking out like that. That's okay. I don't mind that. We could also now, if we wanted to, do the stairs extractor. But I sort of like that now. I sort of really like this. I might use that more often. Okay, but now we've got like a nice little sort of horseshoe staircase that comes up. Uh, bed. We'll get a bed up here. Uh, double bed in the corner. We'll have... He'll have his own cooker up here. Uh, and sink. If I can fit... Oops, if I can fit it all in. Little that and that will have a fence to stop you from falling down the stairs. We shall have a couch for like a little seating area. Again, we'll stick with the red. It's a nice sort of color combination. Um, if I move that, I think if I get... <laughs> it's a little close. <laughs> what I'm thinking, I'm going to make it a single bed, which goes here. I can't, I can't put it on glowstone. Are you kidding me? Could I do... Um, set bed? Nope, it doesn't even let me do that. I thought maybe I could cheat it. That's okay. That's okay. We can, um, we can flip it around this way and have the bed there. Um, and then I wanted a painting with a TV on there. I mean, it sort of, sort of works, doesn't it? Uh, I've got a sneeze coming. Sneezing coming. Okay, I'm alive. It's okay. Don't need to panic. Don't need to. Don't need to call anybody. I'm just gonna do like a little sort of kitchen island part here. Uh, we shall have a nice simple lever. 
you could go a little bit detailed if you wanted to and get an item frame and little red block i use that one oh it's a red background i'll go with blue then make a little sort of cold tap look on there See? sort of sticks through the lever looks like cold tap uh i think that works i think that works carpet for the floor uh i don't want to go with red again i'm gonna go with brown because bricks have a little bit of a brownie texture in them so it'll sort of go well with each other that one's gonna have to stay there i think so we'll leave it like that uh table i think i'll go with spruce i might change that downstairs one to spruce as well so then the oh no it's not i thought i had a oak floor in here but i don't do i i thought oak and oak don't go too well together that works on there flower pop and little tulip i'm thinking well a red one of course Boop. in there and we have ourselves a nice little private upstairs corner i think that works well it's nice and simple it doesn't need to be complicated it's just nice to have a little interior when you're walking past here like hey okay the chinese a little bit more of a job but still shouldn't be all that difficult this is going to be a uh a, the a little seating area set well, what do we want really you know i think i want the planks i think i want planks in here i think it goes really well with the sandstone texture for one Oh, I don't remember doing that to the door on this one. Oh, it's because I had, I had it like that on, on that one. I sort of like that better. You sort of step down and into it. Okay, fine. Uh, ceiling again, same way. We'll need slabs. I need to work really, really quickly here. Ah, missed one. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to go too quickly now. I'm messing up. Okay, and down here. No upstairs area needed on top of this part. Obviously, there isn't enough room. So it's, it's really about the same size as the last, uh, as the one next door. It's just with this little extension in the middle, which will just have some, some nice seating in here. Um, I think I want to go again. I'm going to keep with this couch. It's nice to have the two buildings similar they're, they're obviously very very similar externally just with different blocks but the style and shape and stuff is the same so keeping the interior similar just blends it all in together i think i'm going to go with green in here oops i went on top of the roof and what i want to do is try and squeeze in as many chairs as we can so i'm going to have it like this and like this this would be like a little walking area, you know, to come past. That works out quite well. Uh, and then in here, this is going to be the fast food part. So we'll have, again, a little couch like we had in that one for the waiting area. And desk is going to be here. Do we go with the same pillar design and everything? I think so. like this i think i'm gonna do it like that with the trap door like that now in chinese is you don't really have a big counter at least not in any of the chinese like with my chinese it's a very empty actually counter it's usually only like it's, it's very small so i might make this into an enclosure you can't usually at least in, in the two chinese's that i live near you don't even see the kitchen it's like it's 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 away from the public like this I, I, I've never, I can't remember anywhere looking through and seeing the Chinese's kitchen. So you'd have something like this. That still looks okay. I've just had to, I had to extend this wall out so it doesn't get in the way of the window. 
in here we need some lighting oh, that's a perfect spot that's a perfect spot perfect spot uh, should really move that over by one a little bit of a, a different design to next door we've got the sort of single lights but again lights up plenty enough now that is one thing with Chinese restaurants and that there is paintings and pictures everywhere um, I sort of want, yeah, no, I, I like that. That's quite cool. Uh, and shelves. Shelves seem to be all over the place as well. I think I like the small little single ones, though. Can I get another different one? Oh, look at that. Four different ones all the way down there. Let's double one at the end. Uh, table. Oh, I forgot about those lamps. They could be really nice. Again, we'll go with the spruce. Just stands out a little bit against the oak floor. Uh, I think I'll have the table there. Um, lamp. I totally forgot about these. Yeah. Well, I saw maybe there. Maybe in that one. In that one. <laughs> I was like, what on earth is that? Oh, it's a plant pot. <laughs> Um, and then shelves. Again, don't need to use mods. I'm just using them because I, I like to use them every now and again. Uh, but you could quite easily just use slabs. Would work just as fine. All the way down here. Um, is that one sort of in the way? Maybe we'll feel a little bit in the way. So will that one. I'm going to put a nice high shelf up there. Uh, that's probably That's probably about right. I think I can put flab. Oh, I can't put flab pots on there. I don't think you can do anything with these. In fact, I don't think. Oops, I don't think you can interact with them at all. No. It'd be cool if you could right-click on them and put things on the shelf. I know you can with this one. You can put stuff on the shelves. Um, but obviously, it's, it's not quite as aesthetically pleasing. Need something behind here. Oh, that's really good. That's got a really sort of oriental vibe as well like like a little um chinese hut and or, or house and then this is like a little marketplace and then that's a hill with a temple on top clouds in the sky that's what i can see anyway okay stair we're gonna want a till so they can pay and then the little kitchen in here a furnace um yeah, I think I want the furnaces there. And then those go on top. And then cauldron in the corner. Tripwire hook. We'll just have a show you a different design for the uh, tap. And then I think I still like the grey and white for a little countertop in here. Not much space to work with, but it's a little family Chinese. It works well enough for me. Okay, uh, carpet down the middle here. Uh, I don't think I want to go with any more green. I think it would be a, a little bit overcoat with green. Um, but a nice little brown. Going down here, I think will just touch up nicely. Yeah, just brings a little bit of love. And maybe one little one by the door as you come in. Okay, feels good. Only one problem, and I bet some of you have already spotted it, and that is, how do we get up here? Can I get up here anyway? The kitchen is, is like way condensed, way packed out. I could put a ladder in, or maybe could we get access to it via the back? I, I could f hear. I could from there. Now, we've seen this kind of thing. What door do I want? Soji door on there? I know it's Japanese, but it'll sort of work. Um, 
around, probably around here actually. Yeah, like this part, look. And you get like little stairs that go up to it. Now if I shift this over, which amazingly, the lines are still here from when I've done that. Oh no, it's not. No, I need to, I need to remove those, don't I? And then I move this over. And then I take that away. And then I move this over. And then I take that away. That way I can put a staircase here and I don't block up that car parking spot. So if we go with... I can't remember which one, if it's the small one or the big one. They both look exactly the same, but they're just from different mods. We'll try the small one. And we want to have... Is it called... Sca yeah, probably scaffolding. Are these both... R yeah, both RTM. So then we have something like... In fact, I'll probably do... It. I think I might have to do it like that. And then put that there. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to take this window out. Otherwise, it just looks a bit weird. So, yeah, you can then access up here. Now, I should be able to now put the door we wanted on. Yeah. And it still opens. Oh, you can even see through it. Look, it is like a paper door. Oh, that's really cool. I've never noticed that. That you can actually see through that. Okay, cool. Um, how do we want, have we got a little lamp that we can put? Yeah. Just for a little lighting up there. And we're upstairs. Boom. Actually makes quite a lot of sense as well. Okay, uh, bed. I would really like to get a double bed in this one. I can imagine like a little uh, Chinese, old Chinese couple runs to place. Uh, but it's a better sort of... I think layout up here because we don't have the staircase in the way we get a little bit more room to play with so we'll get a painting for a TV everybody's got to have a TV ah oh, I had it <laughs> I put the slab in the wrong spot I didn't notice oh we got it again couch again keep with the green now I could bring it back a little bit and I might even stick a couple of little bookshelves underneath the TV here uh, maybe just a one under there. Uh, that works. Have a little uh, bedside. That get that get that lamp back for sure. To go in there. Um, I need a little oven. Or do we use the down? No, you can't use the downstairs one. You got to go outside. To Definitely need a little furnace and cauldron up here. I could probably get away with that. That's not too close. And then we'll have this. I think it's a little bit of a longer episode today by the feels. It definitely feels a little bit longer, but it's okay. I'm sure you guys won't mind too much. Tripwire. We'll keep with the tripwire hooks in the Chinese. Uh, stair. Slab. And maybe even a wall to get the extraction out. So that looks like a little sort of extraction pipe going up there. And then this is going to be the little ceiling in here. Perfect. That's actually quite quaint. Uh, carpet. Brown. Again, this is just basically to cover up any messy parts like lights. I think it still looks quite neat. Just that one under there, which is a bit annoying, but that's okay. All right, fine. Paintings on the walls. Maybe get some more shelves if I can fit any in up here. It keeps the the same design all the way through the house. Then, perfect. Can I get a little shelf above it? That's quite nice. Uh, little splashback board behind there. Not a TV, although that would be oops, that would be pretty cool to have nope yeah why not and then a little shelf no I think I want a double one there <laughs> nope <laughs> quite a big McDonald's going there 
Okay, that sort of works. I think we're going to go with that. I don't think there's really anything more that we need. Um, I could just neaten this up with upside down stairs. I think it's that window up. I might see if I need to do that in the other side as well, actually. Very, very pleased. So we've got both interiors done here. It's just nice to have this sort of thing going on. If we just poke our head in, that's... Yeah, I can imagine like a little bustling Chinese there. Nice, quiet place to go and have a meal. Yeah, just do that. It just hides up the little texture up there as well. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you... Ooh, I don't like the text, the shaders for interiors. We shall see you in the next episode.